All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to uh, welcome you on behalf of the Definity Foundation and the ICP community. Uh, we're really excited for you guys to join us here for Chain Fusion Day uh, Bitcoin edition. And uh, I'm just going to kick it right off. We're going to get right into the program, starting with Sam Burry, the uh, head of engineering at Definity Foundation. Welcome to the stage, Stan. Er, Sam. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, anyway, let me get started. Um, it's, as Kyle already mentioned, a great pleasure to be here in uh, Nashville. It's quite a town, uh, something interesting to see. But I hope you're having a good time and it's great you found your way to the Chain Fusion Day. Um, let's first start, why do we organize a Chain Fusion Day? This format is somewhat new. But uh, you see, it's not the first one. You see a couple of pictures here from the uh, Chain Fusion Day at ETHCC in Brussels, just like two weeks ago. Um, it's a new format that allows uh, the Definity, but also all the uh, projects that are building on ICP to engage with the larger crypto community. And in a way, it's a good opportunity to step out of the ICP bubble. And historically, I think there has been times when we lived maybe a bit too much in this bubble. So hopefully today can show what ICP technology can bring to other uh, crypto projects or other chains. And what's better to show than uh, just looking at projects. That's why throughout this afternoon, you will mainly see other projects that build or use ICP talking, so it shouldn't just be a Definity shilling event. Let me still say a few words what we mean by chain fusion, technically, so that uh, you get sort of the basics. Uh, I had a similar talk yesterday, so sorry for those who now relate to me, listen to me a second time. I keep it shorter. So, what is chain fusion? Um, on ICP, smart contracts, which we call canisters, can sign transactions. So basically, they can virtually hold a private key. They can bidirectionally communicate with other chains, and they can do so without a single point of trust. And think about it, it's quite impressive that instead of having a key in your wallet outside the chain, it's actually held by a smart contract on the chain. And it's not in there as one piece, it's basically spread among the nodes of the network. What does that give you then, or what does that allow you to create? You can now augment your crypto apps on other chains with the ICP capabilities. I'm not here to preach that you should move your crypto app to uh, ICP, instead, you may want to use ICP technology or this chain fusion technology to reach out to other chains, to expose what you already have to other ecosystems, or to further decentralize parts of your dApp that may be built on central Web2 technology. So you can then use capabilities like smart contracts serving web assets, you can use computational power of ICP. For example, we have recently demoed how to run AI models on a smart contract. You have fairly affordable storage in a decentralized fashion. We're talking about gigabytes of data. You can use a quite sophisticated DAO framework for governance. So these are just some of the examples. And we have a lot of projects today here who will talk in much more detail what they actually do. Here is just a peek at a few of them. The Omniti network has built a chain interoperability protocol. We will have a colleague from Ch uh, Omniti network here today. Bob Bodley was very influential in setting up this event. Big thank you, Bob. You built the decentralized ordinals marketplace using ICP. We have Alex here from Bitfinity Network. They have ported an EVM to ICP, which will now be able to, for example, manage Bitcoin in uh, Solidity contracts. We have Andy from Loka Mining. 
cannot see you now, but I think you're also here somewhere. You're tokenizing Bitcoin mining. There is a bunch of DEXs. ICP, IC Lighthouse is here, going to be on a panel later on. Orally has built uh, an on-chain Oracle. So that's just a few examples of what you can do with chain fusion technology. And I want to give a quick summary of how this stack actually works. The essence is threshold signing. And that is a protocol where nodes of the network hold a share of the key. We have ECDSA, we have recently launched Schnorr keys, and there is ADDSA's keys that will follow uh, soon. Now the, pro the nodes on the, the network run a protocol and thereby create signatures without the key ever being present in full on a node. So there is no single point of trust. And then there is the integration layer where in the direct integration case, for example, we, there is a Bitcoin nodes running alongside ICP nodes which then allows you to expose the Bitcoin state directly into smart contracts on ICP, or you can submit transactions into the Bitcoin network. There's a slightly different approach chosen for uh, the EVM world. There we use the so-called outcalls features where smart contracts can call RPC endpoints and thereby interact with EVM chains. In total, there is about 20 plus uh, chains that are currently supported by this framework, Bitcoin and Ethereum, of course, being among the very popular ones. Then on top of this, you can use compute, storage, timers, think of it like as cron job. There is randomness, so if you want to build your own casino, uh, outcalls, as I mentioned, serving web assets, and on top of that, we have then really cool projects that, like the um, Ordinals Marketplace by Bionic, have been built on top of this stack. So I hope that gives you an idea of uh, what Chain Fusion is, and I'm really thrilled to now hand over and mainly listen to the projects that have been using this. I think, Bob, you're going to be the MC next. Have a great afternoon. Thank you very much for visiting.